Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, something very interesting is actually happening in the Bitcoin chart because, as you can see, we did initially start to break out to the upside out of this ascending triangle pattern that I was talking about yesterday on the channel, and we did come back down to retest this previous resistance level to potentially confirm the breakout if we did hold that level, which actually ended up forming a brand new pattern on the smaller time frames just here that I will be explaining in just a moment. I'll also be giving you guys some important levels of support that I am paying attention to right now and some price targets moving forward. So make sure you're watching the entire video all the way to the end so that you're not missing out on all of that important information. And if that sounds good to you, just before you jump into it, make sure to leave a like on the video down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so that you're not missing out on any of these future videos. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. So right here, we're on the Bitcoin US dollar chart on the four hour time frame, And as you can see just here, once again, we we're forming this ascending triangle pattern as I was explaining yesterday on the channel. And technically speaking, this is a bullish pattern. So it is more likely to break out to the upside. And we did initially break out to the upside as expected. But on that breakout just there, we didn't really see any major volume to back up this move. And once again, that is a major confirmation that I pay attention to in the Bitcoin chart just here to confirm a breakout. And so considering the fact that we saw really no volume actually back up this move, what was needed in this case was a successful retest of this actual breakout line just here, this previous resistance line. And and if we did get a bounce along that level, then that is when those high price targets would come into play. But once again, as I always say in these videos, if we do not see confirmation come in on the chart, so if we don't really see any volume to back up the move, or if the Bitcoin price actually fails to retest and starts breaking back below this significant line just here, then that is a sign of a fake out. And just zooming into the one hour time frame to take a closer look at exactly what happened just here. And this type of pattern just here, where we basically pump straight to the upside, go sideways, and then dump back to the downside to these original levels. That type of pattern, I kid you not, is called a BART pattern. As you can see just here, this is actually a type of Bitcoin pattern. And usually this type of pattern forms on the smaller time frames for Bitcoin. And that's basically when there's a sudden bump in one direction and then a sideways consolidation and then a sudden bump into the other direction that ends close to the base price, as you can see just here. So that is exactly what has happened right here. That is clearly a BART pattern. And these type of patterns usually come in confluence with market manipulation because this sort of thing isn't actually a natural pattern for Bitcoin. It only ever forms on the smaller timeframes. You never see this thing on like the daily timeframe, the weekly timeframe. And it usually happens when there is very low volume. As I say in most of my videos, when there's low volume on the chart just here, that actually means it's easier to manipulate the price. So anytime we see low volume, always be skeptical of the current price action because anything can happen on low volume. For the brand new viewers out there that want an explanation on exactly why that's the case, definitely check out my last few Bitcoin videos because I actually explained that a couple videos ago on the channel. But yeah, basically all you really need to know is when the volume is at these really low levels, once again, it is easy to manipulate the price of Bitcoin. And if you take a look just before we saw this dump back down here on the smaller timeframes. Right before that happened, the volume actually dropped right down to these extremely low levels, making it very easy to manipulate the price of Bitcoin if you have a decent amount of money. So in that case, just there on this really low volume, all it required was just once again, a decent amount of money to actually sell some Bitcoin onto the market just here and sell through a lot of these buy orders. So now that this has already happened, what does this mean for us? Well, it does mean that there is a little bit of market manipulation happening at the moment. Of course, this might be it for now, but still pay attention to the volume because right now we are on relatively low volume. So we can still have volatile moves in the short term that can really go in either direction, especially when the volume is low and especially on weekends as well, because usually on weekends, volume does dip down a little bit extra compared to during the week as well. So pay attention to that. And of course, whenever there's market manipulation, like this little bar pattern just here, market manipulation doesn't really care about TA. It doesn't care about technical analysis, what I'm doing on this channel. And so when we do see a pattern, like this, it doesn't really respect these lines of support or these lines of resistance. Going back a little bit further on the chart, the last time we saw a pattern very similar to that was actually right down here in around the 20th of July. And that was when Bitcoin actually broke slightly below this important support just here. We broke down into the $29,000 price range. And of course, $30,000 is huge support. So the fact that the Bitcoin price actually broke below that level and didn't continue any lower, once again, that was a little bit odd. But as I was just saying, market manipulation, doesn't care about technical analysis. And that there, that was a perfect BART pattern. As you can see, we saw a perfect dump, sideways consolidation, and then a perfect pump. But yeah, this is also why I usually just pay attention to the larger timeframes on this channel. So for
for example, the four hour time frame is probably my most covered time frame on this channel, if not the daily time frame. Because when you're looking at these time frames just here, so the four hour and the daily time frame, that little correction is barely even visible on these charts. And when you're zooming all the way out to the weekly time frame, this entire week is still looking completely green. We are not seeing any red at all for pretty much an entire month. But anyway, where to next? Where's our next price targets for Bitcoin? Well, basically, if we cannot get above this level pretty soon, so if we do find resistance along that level now, then the next important level of support is coming in at this support line just here, which is currently at around 44,500 US dollars and also bringing out the 21 week moving average. This is currently coming in at just around that same sort of level. So in around 44 to 44 and a half thousand US dollars, that is our next short term support for Bitcoin. If we fail to hold those levels just there, then the next important support for Bitcoin is coming in at around 42,000 US dollars. And in terms of resistance for Bitcoin, first of all, in the short term, it's important that we get back above this level just here at roughly around 47,000. And now we do actually have a bit of confirmed resistance at around 48,000. Zooming out to the daily time frame, if we start breaking above those levels just there, bringing out the Fibonacci retracement tool from the all time high down to this low just here. That actually puts the golden pocket, the 61.8% Fibonacci level at around 51,000 US dollars, which would be the next resistance to the upside after this little range just here. So those are the important levels that I am paying attention to right now for Bitcoin. And as for my Bitcoin strategy, right now I am actually remaining cautious considering the fact that we are still on relatively low volume. Because once again, anytime we're seeing some market manipulation, it is actually quite easy to get stopped out of a short-term trade if you're using high leverage. So right now, my strategy is to simply look for a buying opportunity. If we come back down to these lower levels, I will be accumulating some Bitcoin on the spot market. Once again, that is just what I'm doing. That's my strategy. Of course, do your own research as well to develop a strategy that works for you. And in fact, we could be due for a little bit of a short-term call-off. That's totally possible. And once again, if that happens, I will be using that as an opportunity to accumulate a little bit more Bitcoin. And something that's really cool that happens today Day. This is actually going to be a day for the history books because today was the first ever day that Bitcoin rewards were paid to everyone that has the Bitcoin credit card over at BlockFi. Once again, this is actually the first Bitcoin rewards credit card in the world. There's never been another Bitcoin credit card that actually rewards you Bitcoin with every purchase. So BlockFi or not, this is actually a step in the right direction for Bitcoin. This is a step towards mass adoption because it's things like this that we need for the public to start getting involved more and more into Bitcoin. So everyone that does have this Bitcoin Bitcoin rewards credit card. Congratulations, because once again, today you have been paid your Bitcoin rewards. And for anyone else that is interested in this Bitcoin credit card, I do actually have a link in the description down below that will take you to the page where you can check out the different features and benefits of this credit card. So once again, if you want to check it out for yourself, it will be the first link in the description. But anyway, that's just about everything I have to say for this video. It's just a quick Bitcoin update, letting you guys know about the short term price action that is happening right now and some price targets and support that I'm paying attention to for Bitcoin. And if you enjoyed this video or got something valuable out of it, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more videos like this one. I seriously appreciate every single one of you on the channel, all of you that are watching all of these videos. Honestly, I can't thank you guys enough. But anyway, that's just about everything I have to say for this video. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.